haven't done a weekly reading yet, so I decided to do one and at the same time introduce astrology dice. Now I pulled three cards and they're not in any particular order like past, present, and future. And then I rolled the three dice. You see them in front of the, the cards. Now the black die represents the zodiac signs, the center one the planets, and the one on the right the houses. Now you can think of this like a game for personality, plot, and plays. You know the clue game, Colonel Mustard with the knife in the kitchen? Well this is how it kind of works, so I'm going to be doing a reading of the cards first and then I'll combine them with the astrology dice. So it's more like a tarot reading and a horoscope at the same time. So now you received the Seven of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Emperor. Now the Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords is about decisions, and the Emperor is about taking control. Let's go back to the Seven of Cups. That's really splayed energy. It's about a difficult decision or decisions. But it's in an atmosphere of chaos and illusion and fantasy. Wishing is one thing and making it come true is another. Each cup holds pleasures and treasures, our disenchantments and disappointments. The enticement of so many choices has your head spinning. And there's also a temptation involved in this cup about sexual and emotional folly, which is extremely strong and drawing you towards it. And you have to get out of your kind of day trip or fantasy land and start separating real from imagined. And so then it comes down to which cup will you choose and which cup will you lose? And the Two of Swords, as I mentioned, also is a decision card, but it's indecision in the face of opposing forces. And right now you're at a crossroads of a very difficult decision. You know, all two cards are about planning and decisions, balance and partnership. And in this instance, confusion has set in and you don't know which way to turn. There's challenges and obstacles laying ahead and it's discouraging, even for those with a strong disposition. It's time for you to do some soul searching to find a resolution to your particular dilemma. And you know, you have to understand too that not making a decision is a decision in itself and at times the cosmos will take a handle on things and make one for you. And this might not be to your liking. Now the emperor is about overseeing organization, structure, and responsibility with rules and regulations to manage his empire. But in this instance, the Emperor personifies you because, because Aries rules the Emperor card. You'll see rams on the armrests of his throne. The Emperor symbolizes power, leadership, authority, and vigilant governess. Decisions are made in his chamber with logic and reason. He leaves the emotional decisions to his soulmate, the Empress. He's like a CEO of a company, all the way down to the patriarch of a family. And he's here to assist you in running the microcosm of your personal empire. And he's here to assist you also into making good decisions, logic and reason-based decisions. Okay, and then the three dice down on the bottom, you receive Gemini, Saturn, and the eighth house. Connecting the dice right away to the cards says to me that all roads lead to Rome or more precisely to the Emperor. He's the key to this reading. You know the eighth house brings in the idea that death and taxes are the only thing you can depend on in life. However with the eighth house involved in it you got your hands in the cookie jar of joint finances and other people's money. Initiatives and discipline hit the forefront. The combination of the cards above and the dice indicate that you will find new and exciting ways of conducting old mundane business into prospering new business affairs. 
That is if you're not turned off by listening to other people's opinions and indulging in self-justification to sway personal interests into your favor. Then all bets are off. Diplomacy can be really sweet and also your ticket to success. Although solutions to pending problems must be based on the value of your product or the usefulness of your service. Intellect will be strong with heavy emphasis on details of legal contracts and agreements as well as the sciences for some reason. Candid words conveyed to you are spoken by you, set the stage for establishing priorities. Disturbing dreams bring spiritual insight from astral projection encounters. And I hope you have a great week and I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.